Council President Rice and Council Members. I'm Alfred Worklitz. Thank you for this opportunity to comment on the above the uh, draft amendment and for your hard work and for the hard work of the planning board and its staff. My family's lived in the county for nearly 35 years. I've worked as an executive of businesses in Maryland, Virginia, and the district. These are my personal views about critical water infrastructure issues. Over the next few decades, our area expects significant population growth and economic development, which is good. While scientists report our water supply will decrease. Our reservoir, prudently built um, largely by this council in the 1980s, serves as our foremost backup water supply to meet these needs. Abundant clean water is a critical resource. The right strategy to safeguard public health and economic development is to take no significant chance our, our necessary water infrastructure will be unhealthy in five years or in 50 years. Once clean water sources are gone, it's virtually impossible to reverse the damage. Protecting this infrastructure is the Council's fiduciary responsibility and an economic development infrastructure issue beyond the adverse impacts the recommended development will have on the pristine 10 Mile Creek watershed, our area's gem. You must make this a high priority. Developers are not citizen fiduciaries and they are not accountable for our county's critical resources. They do what they do. You do what you do. The Council is and must be fiduciaries and be accountable. Our county confronts private development pressures, a hasty bull rush to bypass standard planning processes that threaten our last major high quality creek and the reservoir and the rural wells it feeds. The board recommendation is short-sighted. Allowing intense development in this watershed fails to protect our county's water resources. It ignores the repeated loss of healthy streams despite developer promises over 50 years. It was not informed by the science produced by the board's technical consultants who found that the proposed developments, even with the purported environmental safeguards, would significantly degrade water quality in the watershed. It ignored the combined impacts on water resources from this decision and earlier planning decisions that already allow intense development in other tributaries feeding the reservoir. The history is that mitigation techniques proposed by developers have consistently failed to achieve the desired results. The board failed to consider any options that would assure no degradation of 10 Mile uh, Creek watershed uh, would occur. The prudent thing to do is to incorporate major additional portions of 10 Mile Creek watershed into the existing parkland to connect Black Hills and Little Bennett. No rational fiduciary would risk its clean water supply for a fungible housing development, office shopping, or office park. I urge the council to be faithful fiduciaries and stewards of our inalienable, our inalienable, that's a hard word to say, harder than wordlets, <laughs> and inalienable right to a clean water supply, our health, quality of life, uh, tax and tax and ratepayer dollars, and competitive economic position depend on it. I, I'm, so I, I urge you to incorporate that park land. Other places like New York City, like Sonoma County, mm -hmm. California, 5,000 acres in the headwaters of the Russian River have done it, uh, and uh, and to impose Mr. Work, strict you're out of time. You can wrap up for yes, me. Sir, strict imperviousness limits on the balance of the property. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Worklitz, for your testimony.